Hello, I am Shivan Stonehu of Eve University. I've heard recently that there have been attempts to impersonate Eve University as a corporation. As a new player, still trying to navigate the world of New Eden, you probably don't want to apply to one of the imposter corporations. So, how do you tell the difference? First of all, go to Neocom, People and Places, and in my case I have to wait for this window to load. On the People and Places window, set the search type to Corporation. Uh, I guess there's no Corporation exact. Type in the search string Eve space University spelled exactly as it sounds, and click search. Right. And you are looking for a corporation with a black eagle on a gold background. Right click on that and show info. Now there are a few ways that you can tell that you're looking at the correct corporation. First of all, the real EVE University is a member of the Ivy League Alliance and its alliance symbol should appear here. If you left click on it, that will take you to the show info for the alliance. And you can go to the members tab for the alliance and you can see that it, the alliance is composed of Ivy League Research and Development, Eve University, and Dust University. And also that the Ivy League alliance was created by Morning Maniac on uh, 2006, September the 17th. If you back up, oh, you can use the double-headed the double-headed arrows in the upper right corner of the show info window to navigate back and forth through various entries that you've gone through in that window. If you look at the Eve University Corporation information itself, you will see that the CEO is Keldum Ravan, the founder is Morning Maniac, Alliance is Ivy League, and the member count should be something large. Now, Eve University recently reached the milestone of having 2,000 simultaneous members at the same time, though that number does fluctuate because of the nature of the university. A lot of new players come in, a lot of not quite so new players go out. So uh, the number of members will fluctuate over time. It will tend to be larger during peacetime than during wartime. But under absolutely no circumstances should the number of members in the Eve University Corporation appear to be less than 500. If you're looking at a corporation with less than 500 members in it, you're not really looking at Eve University. So these are the various distinguishing characteristics of the, of the real Eve University, as opposed to any of the uh, imposter corporations that might appear. So with that explanation given, I hope this clears up some of the confusion. Thank you for watching.